you are here today because we have resolved our dispute with Bowling Green State University. Uh, the terms of the settlement are a $2.9 million payment from Bowling Green to the, uh, the estate of Stone Fultz. But most importantly, um, there is a commitment by Bowling Green to partner with the Fultz family in the effort to eradicate hazing in this country. The money has nothing that means anything to us because it's not going to bring Stone back. But what it does allow is us to move forward and help us through the foundation, as Rex mentioned, continue the education piece of it and, you know, teach the students, the community, the, the parents, you know, about hazing. And we, we can continue our fight in, in saving lives. There's never going to be any closure. Um, nothing's going to bring Stone back, obviously. So that piece of our heart's never going to be filled again. Um, so closure is never going to be there for us. From day one, we've always wanted the same thing as Bowling Green to eradicate hazing across the country. So I strongly believe that today, moving forward, we can work with Bowling Green, and Bowling Green will be one of the first universities to take the big step towards eliminating hazing across this country. We can make today a positive move where after the criminal trial, no one won. We left there as grieving parents and those individual boys that were involved left there as criminals. It was a no-win situation after the criminal trial. I mean, to this day, we hear stories of Stone and how he's touched other individuals. So it, I think he would be very proud that we're continuing his legacy by helping others. Universities have been really good historically in punishing after the event occurs, but they haven't been very good putting a stop to this stuff before it takes place. So I think that hopefully the message this sends is that universities need to do a much better job of proactively enforcing their policies.